So about, what is this, two weeks ago now? Yeah. We're sitting over at uh, kickoff, and I was, a, I would say, a couple beers in, and I see Tyler, and he's, you know, in his suit, he's got his mask on, he's got his Apple Watch, and he starts talking about how many, <laughs> how many calories he had already burned. I laughed at him and said, I will crush that number. I will crush you. Mm, I don't like when people can, you know, challenge me because the competitive fierce in me comes out. I said, Chris, here's the deal. Buy the watch. If you beat me, I will pay you back for the watch. Ah, ah, yes. You know what? First of all, I like free things, so that was a motivator. But also, I just want to get in his head a little bit. I gather a few people up around the office and I say, listen, I drunkenly challenged Tyler last night <laughs> to a fitness competition. Look at me. It's, it's going to be tough. So I'm going to need some help. Who are you giving your watch to halfway through? Because I don't think she rode a bike for 6.8 miles. Oh, she did ride a bike for 6.8 miles. She mm. rode a bike over to my hood. So she definitely rode her bike for 6.8 miles. We're not friends anymore on here. <laughs> <laughs> I need people to take morning shifts, midday shifts. I need some night shifts, right? Uh, we started talking about how we would uh, hand off the watch, etc. But then as the week went on, the funny thing is I think I, I think I started convincing myself that I could actually beat him on my own. Apple allows for you to compete with people and you can challenge yourself. And anytime I work out or she works out or anyone works out, it notifies you, you know, Bill just finished a workout. Christine just finished a workout. I wake up at 11.59, set my alarm, <laughs> turn on the Bluetooth, turn on the Wi-Fi, all the updates come in. I think he sees it the next morning. So when you do that, it doesn't sync and I can't see it. So this is what she did that day. This is the irony of it. This is why it's so great. Watch this. Chris did 2,719 calories. She smoked me. 35,000 steps. She was standing 17 hours. Are you, are you Batman? You, you, don't, you just stand and outdoor walk, 0.31 miles. Indoor walk, 0.29 miles. Outdoor cycle, 6.8 miles. Indoor walk, 2.61 miles. Well, I don't know where you're walking indoor for 2.61 miles, but you must have a big house. Outdoor walk, 0.6 miles. High intensity interval, outdoor uh, walk. High intensity interval training. Outdoor run. Indoor run, 4.5. So this is in one day. Is she working? <laughs> I, I can't imagine doing all of that and working. So I know she's a hustler, so I know she's working. So I, I'm frustrated the next day because I don't like to lose. And so I'm like, gosh, I'm gonna have to do my more than my normal workout. I'm gonna have to bust. It was so sad. I was like on a run. I had him beat one day. I was like, I'm gonna beat him again today. I was gonna shut off the Bluetooth, same strategy. You know me, I'm checking my watch. How's she doing, how's she doing, how's she doing? She's at 1200, she's at 1200. At six o'clock, it stopped after 1200, I'm like, she's gonna get me again. I wake up in the morning, literally at 12.05, 12.06. I'm like, hell no. Like, I'm, she's still there. I'm like, huh, she didn't, she didn't do anything after six. Like, she didn't move her, she didn't move. I get home and I'm a zombie and I literally cannot think, I cannot move and I have to pass out for three hours <laughs> and my whole body just shut down. It was like, you know what, this, uh, this is not for you. So I come in the day, I go, hey, what's up? How you feeling, what's going on? She's like, um, I'm gonna return the watch after all that's said and done. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want. You, I, I want you to be productive at work. I feel bad. Like, can we just end the competition, and I pay half for your watch? <laughs> One, I don't want to pay for it. Two, I think I took it over the top. But if anything, it showed me if you, when you set your mind to something, you know, you can do it. Get some help. You know, get some help from the teammates. Uh, start working out. And now, actually, I went to the gym this morning without the watch on. So it actually got me into good uh, habits. It's just not healthy for a, an employer slash employee relationship. I just don't think it, I just don't think it is. So anyways, I was trying to play mind games with them a little bit by turning the Bluetooth off. Yeah, it it definitely got to them, yeah, right? Okay, good, good. So where, where did, last question, uh, where did this whole... Uh... <laughs> if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying? Yeah. Where, did where did that, that come from? Yeah. I think the first time I heard it was actually from Tyler. Is the product team was doing a competition and I said, you know, I don't want to cheat. Like, don't tell us what they're doing. So if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I said, okay. <laughs>
Hey, look who it is. Hey. Hey. He ain't no quitting ass pony. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be ready tomorrow, my pony. You're going to be ready tomorrow. <laughs>